Hello and welcome to this video. This video is looking at word processing. We're looking at three items, three main items to do with images. I want to show you how to change the default location when you're inserting an image. You know when you go to insert at the top up here and you go to pictures and then insert from this device it always takes you to this PC and pictures and most of us don't keep them there we tend to have them maybe on Dropbox or OneDrive or another location on your server at work rather than on the local PC so it's really annoying that it comes to this place and then you've got to go and navigate every time so I'm going to show you how to change that and then we'll insert some images and I'll show you how to join the images together so they're seen as one image so you can resize a couple of them at the same time and then we're going to have a look at moving and positioning the images on the page and change how the text wraps around those images so let's get started let's first of all change this really annoying default location when you're inserting images so what you need to do is come up to file and then come down to options and this opens up your word options dialog box and when you've got this dialog box open come down to the advanced settings and then you need to scroll right down to the bottom and when you're down here there's one here that says file location if you click that that opens up this dialog box and can you see here the images actually hasn't got any location on at all so what we need to do is click modify and now navigate to the location that you would like so in my case I would like to open it up in OneDrive and go to my image folder there we go and then click OK so there's my images set you can set some other things here as well if you want to like your documents but there's other ways of doing that so this is um, the best way for images so click OK and click OK and now when we go to insert from this device it opens at the location that you want it to open so in my case I've got lots of images here so the next item on the list is to insert images and join them together so they stay as one image so let's first of all just cancel this make sure we're in the right position I want to insert an image I'm going to just click in front of where it says my heading and come back up to insert pictures from this device and then I'm just going to choose a couple of images from my folder of images So let's have this one here and if you want to select more than one so rather than doing them one at a time just hold your control key down and select the other ones that you want and you can see I've got two selected here I, I, let's do a third one we'll have this one as well click insert and you get all your images inserted at once what I want to do is take a couple of these images and join them together so let's assume I want this image on the left and this one here on the left joined as one image and you'll notice that if you hold your control key down and try and select the second image you just can't do it it won't let you do it so what we're going to do is first of all go to the first image come up to picture format click that one and just out of interest that picture format is a contextual tab so if I click away from the image we lose that tab so you must always select your image and you've got that picture format tab up there and then come over to wrap text and you'll see at the moment the text is in line 
it says in line with text so just choose one of these pro probably the square one to start with so we'll click square okay go and do the same with the other image wrap text square and you see what's happened to this one just as I do it I'll do that again for you let me undo it can you see at the moment the text is in line with it so my heading is right next to it but as soon as I wrap that square all my text wraps around it so now I've got the first image and if I hold control key down I can now select the second image and what I want to do is join these together as one image so what we're going to do is come up to the top here and click group and then click group and now you'll see that this line with the size handles goes right round both of them so if I go to resize so you'll see that I can resize both together but you've got to be careful because they can stretch and you sort of lose the aspect ratio so the thing to do is actually hold your shift key down when you're doing it and that maintains the aspect ratio so as they resize the aspect stays exactly the same so I want to bring these down to about the same size as this other one here so I've got one larger one and two smaller but how do we get them exactly the same size well just to demonstrate this I want to put a border around both of these because this one's got some sort of white space and you can't really see the size so let's first of all come up to the top and I'm just going to click this one that says picture border and I'm going to select a sort of a blue color there so now you can see the border of this one I'll do the same for this one with the training on let's come up select border color and now we can actually see the size of both of these I'm just going to click next to my heading and press enter so I can see that there's no text affecting these right so how do we get them the same size so click on this larger one and then come up to picture format and you can see the sizes up here on the right hand side I always like to go to the dialog launcher on the corner which opens up this dialog box and this ensures that I've got a tick in lock aspect ratio so if I'm changing any of the sizes it changes the other one as well so if I change the height it will maintain the aspect by changing the width so I'm going to change the height of this one to 4.5 so you can delete whatever's in there by highlighting it type 4.5 and when I click into the width it automatically changes so now I've got a height of 4.5 so click OK so that's what I want this one to have so come over to this one click the dialog launcher on the corner and you'll see that this one the lock aspect ratio isn't ticked so I need to tick that so that when I change the height which I'm just going to change to 4.5 4.5 and you'll see the width down here is 3.7 as soon as I click there you can see it's just changed to 3.69 so it does change that size very slightly click OK and we've now got two images exactly the same height okay I'm not worried about the width obviously it's just the height that I want the same and now I can move this one into position and I can just touch it on the other one and you can see that that's now nicely put all three together now I need to group that one in there so I'm going to click the one on the left which is the join two hold control down and click the one on the right and then come up to picture format and group and click group and now I've got a really nice grouped set of pictures here and if I click on there and resize remember to hold the shift when you're resizing so that it maintains the aspect of them and can you see that that's maintaining the aspect and we've got a nice 
little image there. So now how do we position this image? The fact that we've ra we're wrapping the text and let's just go and check that because sometimes it changes. Let's go and have a look, but that's okay. We've got that square. So that means the text will wrap square. So you can actually now go and grab this and actually put it anywhere you like. Can you see how I'm putting it into the text and all the text just wraps accordingly around that image. So if I wanted the image on the right, I can just place it there. And if I wanted to move it into the center, the text sort of wraps around it. Now, while we're here, I'll just put it in the center and just show you a few others. So if we come up to wrap text, the type won't make a big difference to this one because it's square. But when you've got a shape in there, for example, a triangle, it would go right over and up to the shape. If I just show you, let's insert a shape here. Let's have a triangle. So if I draw a triangle here, so at the moment that's sitting on top. But if I come to wrap text and just say tight, let's put it down here somewhere. What you'll see is the text is going up towards the actual shape itself. If I change that to square, it stays as though there was a square around that particular shape. So that's the difference between the two really. So we'll just delete that one out. Let's click top and bottom. There we go. We've now got the space either side. So it will just jump. The text will jump down to underneath it. We can say behind text. So now your text is on top of it and your pictures behind the text. And we can put in front of text. Not quite sure why you would want to do that because you can't see the text behind it now. Uh, but there you go, you've got that chance. So the one I tend to use mainly is square. And I tend to put my pictures either on the left or on the right of the page so that that sits nicely with my text wrapped around. You have got a few other things that you can do. If you come over to position, you can say, look, I want my picture top left and you click that one and let's go to the top and there it is top left and I can position in the center obviously it doesn't look good with my bullet points that I've got here but it might be that you want that exactly in the center so hopefully that helps you insert images changing your file location resizing the images and joining them together as one image and then resizing them using your shift key to maintain that aspect ratio. If you enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing so that you don't miss any future ones and give me the thumbs up, please. Thank you and look forward to seeing you in the next video.